Tuesday Telegraph now and the rules for working members of the royal family, Nick. Yeah, Prince Harry denied right to wear military uniform during mourning, but exception made for Prince Andrew. So it's a little bit complicated. So the, so the Duke of Sussex, Harry, of course, has been denied the right to wear military uniform at the funeral. But, the, but there's an exception for Andrew, but he's not allowed to wear it for the mourning period. He's, Andrew will be permitted to wear the uniform on one occasion, the final vigil in Westminster Hall, as a final mark of respect. But not beyond that, as far as I can tell. So, yes, it's a complicated relationship. Obviously, the difficulties of dealing with Andrew and Harry have presented some challenges. I mean, you know, the Royal Family have had a lot of challenges back in the day with Wallace Simpson and so on. But and we've also had the challenge of Meghan. I don't know if you... I saw a tweet that said, um, claimed that British people hate Meghan more than Andrew. And I, I don't know whether that's true or verifiable, but I do think people have underestimated the impact Meghan has had. There's this assumption that, oh, people don't like it because they're racist or they've just taken against it. Of course, when she first arrived, people were desperate to welcome her. I think it's actually because of the impact she's had on the country. We already had Brexit. We have a, we, our monarchy is obviously a huge deal to us. But it's only been, you know, it, there's only been one interregnum and that didn't go that well. And that was a long time ago. And, uh, Are you saying she's worse than Brexit? Well, that's a good question. I mean, but you can't really, I wouldn't make a crass comparison whether she's worse than Andrew. I'm just saying people underestimate, actually... We don't like to have our royal family messed with, and we never have historically. Mm -hmm. It hasn't gone well in, in really any occasion, although the, the royal family have weathered it, and it's interesting how well they've managed to weather it. Well, yes, I mean, any, any hopes for a rehabilitation of Meghan Markle in the views of the British public are, are dashed, aren't they, wouldn't you say, Josh? No, well, let's has see, this, really book, been, the, the, the great this book hasn't it? come out yet. I don't know, there was some stuff like she's, like, hugging people, and that was nice when they sort of all went out together. I understand that was a gesture Bad from for. Prince William... And he said, let's all go out together and let's... I, mean, I, I feel like they're making an effort, the rest of the family, to kind of bring them back a bit into the fold. Let's see whether they then... What, what's going to come out with this book, what other stuff that she says. But like you said, there seems to be very much it's coming from America. Like, it can be that two things are true at once. They're, they're definitely, if you look at the coverage of um, Kate and you look at the coverage of her, there was definitely like there was inconsistencies there that you're going... I wouldn't call them necessarily out-and-out out racism, but you're going, wait a minute, she wears a dress and she's, like, all fine, but Meghan wears a dress and suddenly that exactly the same dress and suddenly mm -hmm. she's... There's something wrong. There's, there was something going on there in the press. Saying that, her behaviour, I believe, has not been acceptable and there have been, like, basically lots of fibs and things like that. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't think to so, say, oh, sh people don't like her because they're racist. That's wrong. She certainly didn't have more scrutiny than Princess Diana, did she? So I question yeah. any racial angle. Also, it's interesting that you've put the nicest possible spin on that so-called walkabout, but apparently, it's only speculation, but apparently there was a, a, a camera organised and Meghan and Harry were going to do something, so William basically saved the day and said, well, no, come with us. You know, but at the last minute they agreed, but it, it wasn't, you know, to, to put a brave face in it, but anyway. Well, there you go. I'm sure that one will rumble and rumble. The right royal soap opera.